Now our big focus this evening, in a season of corruption, the BJP and the Congress, it seems, find themselves equally tainted. Both are predictably blaming each other of being more corrupt and questioning the timing of exposés against Veer Bhadra Singh and Nitin Gadkari. A political storm over the BJP's party president and the Congress government's former minister. With a flurry of allegations and counter-allegations, the Congress and the BJP, it seems, are equally under pressure. It was NDTV that first investigated and broke the stories. Hello and welcome to this major NDTV exclusive. As more and more questions were raised about Mr. Gadkari, and particularly his business dealings. The first charge, as it were, is that the Purti Group is financed by shell companies. On Saturday, NDTV had reported that how a company that had got infrastructure projects during Nitin Gadkari's time as Maharashtra's PWD minister went on later on to invest in Gadkari's own Purti Power and Sugar, which was founded in the year 2000. NDTV had also disclosed that how many of the investors that have invested in Gadkari's firm are steeped in mystery. For instance, their official addresses don't check out. Many of them are registered and headquartered at the same address and have a common set of directors, all pointing to the possibility of whether they are shell companies. But in his defence, Gadkari denied any charges of a quid pro quo and said he had quit as chairman of Purti 14 months ago. As far as the shares are concerned, there is a share value is increased sometime. It is a business and people have right to invest anywhere in any company. So I have no regret for it. 14 months ago, the Purti Power and Sugar Limited was given a letter of the Purti. While the Congress was quick to cash in on the allegations with the AICC General Secretary writing to the Prime Minister demanding an inquiry into Nitin Gadkari's business deals, the BJP today hit back, accusing the Congress of double standards, asking that the government investigate its own leader first. Now that it has come, mm -hmm. the, the, the information has come to the public domain mm -hmm. and they will definitely inquire into it, I will get a report. They have not answered one question by anybody nor have they been open about investigation. The BJP quick to defend their chief, but will a Gadkari second term become a liability for the party? For now, however, the strategy is to attack back after NDTV's expose on former steel minister Veer Bhadra Singh. Just two weeks ago, NDTV had aired a story showing a list of payments allegedly made to steel ministry officials by steel manufacturers the Ispat Group. The list was found by income tax authorities during a raid. Amongst the entries was a VBS, which the BJP says is Veer Bhadra Singh. 45 pages of money payments being made to several entities, starting from, as you said, VBS. So unaccounted money comes from somewhere. It finds its place in a ghost account opened by one Anand Chauhan. And Shri Veer Bhadra Singh and his family members become the beneficiary of that. Timing of this allegation is suspicious while the elections are going on. If this thing was available in the public domain for a long time, why was it not taken up at that time? But in this open season of scams, Team Kejriwal has blamed both parties for protecting each other. BJP wale jo hai, wo Congress ko bachayenge, Congress wale jo hai, wo BJP ko bachayenge. It's the season of allegation where every political party is alleging a scam that involves a political rival. Whether it's the BJP or the Congress, both argue that the allegations involving their political rival are far more serious than those that involve one of their own. Amidst allegations and counter-allegations, the key question is, will there be an impartial probe that inspires confidence and brings out the truth? Alright, so Gadkari and Veerbhadra Singh, are there two sides of the same coin? Will politicians in India ever face a real investigation? That's what we are looking at this evening. Joining us, Sobna Chatterjee, uh, the former Speaker of the Lok Sabha, Joginder Singh, former Director of uh, the CBI, Manish Shishodia, member of uh, the India Against Corruption. He joins us as well. Sanjay Jha, co-founder of HamaraCongress.com. Sudhir Kumar, former Vigilance Commissioner, thank you all very much for joining us. Rahul Narvekar, head of the Shiv Sena Legal Cell as well. But Mr. Chatterjee, let me come across to you first. You set the benchmark when it came to propriety for a politician. Given the allegations against him of extremely questionable 
funding of his company. Do you think it's time for the BJP president Nitin Gadkari to step down? I will. I will sub submit uh, for the consideration of uh, all the friends in the different political parties that whenever there is an apparent uh, 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 questionable uh, uh, dealings about which allegations are made, the politicians, the leaders, should themselves invite a proper investigation into the matter. And it is uh, it is fit and proper. They should not occupy any position till a proper inquiry, impartial inquiry is made and a result is announced, a result is um, uh, given. Uh, it, it is necessary that the people have faith in our political system. That it is unfortunate that <coughs> they are losing the faith in the, in the, in the uh, probity and the sincerity and the honesty of our, the entire political system. It is not going to help our country at all. Because if we have a people, the electorate for that matter, who are suspicious of different political parties and about their uh, uh, transactions so they enter down. into, about their He should their step down day. even before an investigation well, is complete to me, for propriety. Uh, and uh, so, that, so that there is a proper, no, no allegation can be made, no suspicion can be there about any interference with the okay. uh, impartial inquiry. But Mr. Chatterjee, what about Virbhadra Singh? It now appears that Mr. Singh may not only have allegedly have received funds from a steel company when he was minister, but there are also questions on how his net agricultural income from fruit orchards mysteriously grew in one case 30 times when his uh, income tax submission was revised. So should he also step down at this stage on the grounds of, of political propriety? You see, according to me, I believe he is not... Uh, uh, he may be in the Congress party, he is not a minister so far as I know. No, he's not. He was Therefore, when these allegations the Congress were made. Party, like any, uh, he was, then at the moment probably he is not holding any office. So far, uh, I mean it applies to everybody, whoever at the given time occupies an office, he should not continue to hold it, that's my view. The question is, it would be on invitation. I would like the leaders themselves to invite a proper inquiry. To, uh, to see that, uh, to prove its honesty or integrity in the matter. Uh, speaking for myself, I am not a person who accepts that all allegations are correct. Otherwise, there is no system of trial, no system of investigation. An allegation has to be proved. But to earn public confidence in the inquiry, proper inquiry, they should not hold any office for the time being until he is exonerated. But it has to be proved. All charges have to be proved. That I will concede. Because mere allegation is no proof. The trouble is nowadays we feel that any and every allegation is an, is, amounts to proof of guilt. That is not so. But for the proper acceptability by the people of the, of the process of inquiry investigation, it will be better that nobody holds any opposition. With, through which one may interfere or so one may... It's okay to hold a position in the party. It's, it's, it's okay to hold a position in the party, Mr. Chatterjee, but not a ministerial position, right? That's what you're saying. No, I mean, that is for the party. That will be bring opprobrium to the party, but certainly not a ministerial position okay. or a position through which one can influence... Uh, all right, Mr. Chatterjee, one more question to you. I know you need to leave us as well. In all of these cases, is there a worry that the process of launching probes will be selective? That the company's affairs minister, Virapa Moili, for example, has said that they'll inquire about Gadkari, but when it comes to someone like Robert Vadra, it's still wait and watch. Well, uh, I don't know the facts myself, except what I have seen in the papers, read in the papers. The question of prima facie case is there or not, it is for some authority to decide. I don't mind any independent authority deciding this matter, even the CBI may, may decide this matter, <laughs> sure. uh, or, or authority like that. Assuming one has uh, faith in the CBI. Any, well, you have to, you can't go on disputing everybody for that matter, then they have nothing, there will be no <laughs> investigation which will be ever accepted by sir, anybody. Sir, I think this at country. this stage in this country, we that's where we are left at, sir. That's where we are left at. But Mr. Chatterjee, thank you so much for sharing those views with us.
India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.